Well, we all remember this piece right here. Uh, I'm sanding out the orange peel and the fish eye and all the dry spots right now. You can still see some areas that need to be sanded down right here. And uh, what we're going to do on this video here is I'm going to paint it black, put, put some true fire on it, and then we will do some clear coating. So uh, this uh, little series down most of the orange peel and the runs that were in here. What I want to show you now is what, what the, uh, the term solvent pop is. And uh, you can zoom in here a little bit, Julio. If you can see all these little white specks on here, all these little white specks, these are all uh, microscopic bubbles. And this is a pretty common for, uh, for new painters because they want to get the paint on really quick, the clear coat, and that clear coat needs time to outgas. So what I would suggest to avoid this would be to follow the instructions completely on your clear coat. And uh, okay, what we're gonna do here is uh, we're getting ready to paint this thing black. You look at the amount of paint that I have right here. I probably won't use all this paint. This is two small cups of paint. I like to mix my paint in cups like this. Um, always gonna use a filter to uh, you know get some little trash or something in there. You need to get that trash out of there. So uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to walk over to the uh, to the part we're going to paint and hopefully we won't have any problems. And a lot of people have asked me about my terminology of painting dry. That is just a term that I made up. Uh, it's, it's not a professional term or anything. I wasn't taught that. It's something that I just use as a term. Uh, I have a lot of friends that paint really, really wet. And it, I mean, it's, it's glossy, it's so wet. Um, I kind of back off a little bit on mine. I paint a lot with a lot of air and a small amount of paint. I, they can get it done in, in one pass where it might take me three or four passes, but that's the way I like to do it. Uh, do it your what a normal uh, automotive uh, repair shop might do. Um, I am not a repair shop, I, I'm just an artist. So this is the way I do it. Until I get it covered. Now if I had gone on this really, really wet, the reducers in the paint may have attacked the manufacturer's paint and caused a wrinkle or a blister. And those are the things you want to avoid. This is just from you. Alright, we're getting ready to uh, put some true fire on this black piece right here and uh, what we're going to use we're going to use some uh, some items here uh, some items that I've made some items that I've purchased here uh, I do not work for any company I work for myself so there's nobody paying me to advertise for the maker of this product um, or any product that I use uh, I'm not sponsored by anybody uh, what we're going to use here we have some uh, molly orange this is regular paint base coat paint we'll do molly orange and then we'll use a ray candy and then we'll do another molly orange, and then we'll do an orange candy, and then we'll use a uh, chrome yellow, and then we'll do an orange candy, and then we'll do chrome yellow again, and then we'll do a final pagan gold candy. There are a lot of steps that make this uh, true fire look as as uh, as it uh, has a lot of depth and a lot of movement. Everybody has their own way. Everybody has their has their own method. Um, so what I'm gonna do, is, and the customer is very subtle. He does not want a, a whole lot of fire on this. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just kind of lay out my, my planes where where I'm thinking that I want them, and uh, we'll just kind of do some uh, random little pieces here. And uh, you kind of want to make a make a fire flow like a like fire would would flow in uh, real uh, real life. You know, the loops and the holes and the breaks and the different things that, that make it give it that certain look. And um, what I'm doing here, I put a lot of orange on here because that orange, the red base, and when I say a lot of orange, it's not really. And we will put some red candy over this. As you can see, that this is already changing the color of that orange. Take the nice, deep, deep red. 
this is just ma merely a backdrop for the oranges. So, I've got about um, eight to nine more steps. Okay guys, getting ready to clear a coat. What I got here, I'm taking some paint, and the paint that I use is a fast dry paint. It, is a, uh, it dries within 45 minutes to an hour, and you can buff it. And this is without any sort of uh, heat or baking. Uh, it's a very good product. Everybody makes it. Just look into the paint of your choice. We've got a tack cloth here right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tack this off. What I'm doing, I'm getting my dust and stuff off of here. What I want you guys to, to, to watch as I paint this, uh, Julio is going to try to capture the, um, the, the wave of clear coat that's going to follow across this piece. That's the part that you want to watch when you're clear coating. You want to see that you're painting wet or dry. In this case, on the clear coat, you want to paint wet. Uh, you want to paint it as though um, you're, you're doing the finished product the first time and then put a second coat on it. Now, there's other ways of doing it where you put a different attack coat on and that's, that's basically a dry coat and then you go back in with a wet coat. Whatever works for you, that's, that's the key here. This is the way I do it. So I'm gonna paint here and uh, I'm not gonna paint the whole thing but uh, Julio might step out of frame here. Um, what I've got on here is a uh, fresh air mask. It's got self-contained, it's got a filter on it and it uh, has a positive air and also have a uh, protect my skin from the clear coat. So here we go. apologize for the quality of my video I'm I'm just now learning I'm learning how to edit I'm learning how to do different things with it uh, my main thing is I think I talk too much so I'm really trying to help you guys out uh, hopefully you can see something from what I've done uh, how I do things and maybe say that that's the way you do it or find a way of changing the way you do things <clears throat> so anyway this is it and it's done. I still need to buff it out, but it came out pretty nice. <laughs> 